The Caddy multi-panel DWA for sliding folding doors offers a really easy way to get these objects into your drawings. There's no need to spend time drawing individual sills, individual doors, everything's taken care of, it creates automatic elevations for you, there are even section styles within the drawing too to enable you to, to take those objects and to schedule them automatically within your own drawings. So let's have a look in a little more detail at what we have with our DWA assembly. Going to a plan view, we'll see that we have our DWAs here. So picking on the DWAs, we'll see from our object properties that they are in fact the same DWA. So all of those are the same DWA and they are automatically sizing to the opening that we wish. And we can choose the individual doors. So we can change that to 45 degrees and that will automatically update our plan. We can update the section two, it's picking on our section and just hitting refresh. And the door automatically adjusts to the angle shown on our plan. Moving along, we see that we have left hand and right hand arrangements. We have split arrangements too with bifold, bifold doors and single entry doors. And coming along to our door here, we'll just illustrate exactly how the system works for changing the size. So we can pick on our, our door, we can pick on the grips, we could change it via ob object properties too, make it larger. The additional panels automatically get incorporated. And then if we pick on our section, so we press escape beforehand or abort, pick on our section, we can just update the sections. So this one will include the new objects that we have for the doors too. It will update the section and provide us with the accurate representation of what we have in our scheme at that particular time. And of course, if we want to include within our drawings those particular objects, so we have a, a new drawing that we wish to include those in, we can take the schedule style. If we take the schedule style, it will take all of those particular styles that are featured within it too. So we can copy that to the clipboard. It doesn't really matter where we copy it. We're only interested in getting the styles here. So we can go to our plan. So here's a typical plan that we might want to incorporate uh, a run of sliding folding doors into the, the rear wall here. So we can paste those into our drawing. And there's our table. We don't need to place it anywhere. That relates to the old one. All we wanted was a style. Now going to a close-up of our plan. We can come to the DWA under the build section. Choose our DWA. Here we're going to pick the multi-panel left hand, the other styles are there too. We can choose the size we want, so if we change that to say 1800, we'll put it in by virtue of the, the center anchor there, to 100, that door within a, a to 100 opening. We'll OK that, change to our auto snap, which I have with the midpoint associated with it, and there's our our door. We can pick on the DWA if we choose to alter it by virtue of the object properties, as I say, or we can use the grips and we'll see that whichever way we do it, then we have then we have the number of panels increasing automatically. And in fact, if we go for a perspective view here, we can see that we have our arrangement complete with silk. And we can equally, equally well alter the arrangement in 2D or 3D. Putting it back to where we were, maybe we want an elevation of that now. We could even elect it to show the, the opening door there with a swing angle of, say, 45 degrees. So there's our door opening for us. We could go back to our plan view, plan there also showing the door open. We can create our vertical section, again from the build tools, quick section. So we're taking across here, note I've got polar tracking on to keep myself nice and horizontal there. Right click, option end. Drag my section down to include all of the objects there. And we'll place our, our section. In fact, what we can also do is just move that across. 
So I'll just pick that up and line it up with our point there. So this is our uh, elevation. If we wanted to have the, the section, our elevation hatched, we could also do that with a quick hatch. So we have our, our chosen hatch, so this is just a 75 mil line. We can drag using the edit existing onto our wall style, choosing the surface hatch for the particular component, switching the hatch on, and then we'll just update that section, which gives us our hatched elevation. And if we want to schedule that, we'll pick the DWA door schedule, drag over our, our doors there, and I'm going to I'm going to place it inside simply because that will allow us to see the thing at the same time, to see the schedule at the same time. I'll bring that back and we'll notice that the DWA has counted up the number of leaves, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, so there's our number of leaves. It tells us the overall width and the height. It tells us the, the mark for our door as well. If we click onto our door, go to the object properties, we can select our DWA, we can change the mark to whatever number we wish back in our drawing. Then if you take the schedule and we automatically update that, that will reflect the changes that we do make. What's also nice about the door is that if we decide to change the size of the door we've used, which we can do from our editing of the style, we can just go to our design rules, change the horizontal division, change the cell size, so we'll make that 1200 millimeters, apply that, close it, that updates, so we now have only five leaves there, and we can update our section once more. So there you are, very quick, very easy, and very intuitive way to get sliding folding doors into your drawings, complete with variable openings and sills as well. Discover many more Caddy tutorial videos on the Caddy Software channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for frequent news and updates. And why not download your own evaluation copy and try out Caddy for yourself? And whilst you're evaluating, you can get free help and advice via the live support on the website or through the numbers given on screen.